If we take a closer look at these four views, we can see that the only thing that is changing is this page header and main content. Those are dynamic parts of our website. Everything else is the same. So we are going to create a master layout which is going to be a skeleton for all the other views. So this view would only contain page header and main content. So under the views folder, let's create a new directory named layouts. Now under the layout, we're going to create a new file which is going to be named master.blade.php. Now I'm going to take this code and paste it here. So remember we said that the only dynamic parts of the website is page header and main content. So we are going to remove it and we are going to add yield and we are going to name this yield content. So now we can remove everything else from here. And put this in a section named content. And we need to end this. And we need to remove this HR as well. Now let's end this section element. Now we need to tell this view that it needs to be extended by the master.blade.php. So we are going to use extends and type the name of the master layout. So it's going to be under the layouts directory and its name is master. So let's take a look at the front page and as you can see, we only have this code here, but everything else is here. So we can do the same for these three views as well.
Now let's test other pages. Now, for some reason, this single post is not picking up the JS and CSS files. And if you take a closer look at the console, you can see that it's trying to include assets from the post, which doesn't exist. And that is because we have two level URL. So we need to do changes in the master and simply add a slash before the assets. And let's try it again. And as you can see, it's picking up the CSS and JS. And the last page is contact. And as you can see, it works as well.